Six facts about the Democratic Republic of Georgia. Soviet propaganda portrayed Georgia's first democratic republic as a failure riven by political division. It claimed Georgians were saved by becoming part of the Soviet Union, with no mention of the fact that their country was invaded and occupied by the Red Army. That's not the only fact that Soviet propaganda ignored. Fact one, Georgia was recognized internationally as an independent state. Georgia was one of several former Russian colonies to gain their independence in 1918 with the collapse of the Tsarist Empire at the end of World War I. And at the initiative of then French Prime Minister Aristide Briand, Georgia's statehood was officially recognized by all major European powers in January 1921. Fact two, Georgia was a pioneering democracy. Independent Georgia was a democratic republic, guaranteeing freedom of speech freedom of assembly, and freedom of religion, right at the time that Russia was becoming the world's largest totalitarian state. Fact three, independent Georgia held free, fair, and representative elections. Democratic Georgia held its first parliamentary elections in 1919, and four parties won seats based on proportional representation. After additional elections, there were seven parties in parliament, with the Social Democratic Party in the majority. Fact four, Georgia's ruling party shared power with the opposition. The ruling party gave significant roles to some opposition figures, including leadership positions in parliamentary committees, the security service, and the state audit body. Opposition parties also had considerable influence on government decisions, particularly in foreign policy and education. Fact five, Georgia was one of the first countries to allow women to vote and to serve in parliament. Five women were elected to the Georgian parliament, and after local elections in 1918, Fari Khanum Sofieva became the world's first democratically elected Muslim woman. Two of the female lawmakers in parliament were later shot dead by Soviet occupation forces. Fact six. Joseph Stalin backed the Soviet invasion of his native Georgia to stamp out its democracy. Soviet Russia actually recognized Georgia's independence in May 1920, but Soviet leaders like Stalin grew to see Georgian democracy as a fundamental challenge to their totalitarian system. And on the 11th of February 1921, the Red Army invaded and overthrew Georgia's elected government. Georgia regained its independence seven decades later in 1991, as the Soviet Union was collapsing.